Let's take a look at the bench press. Now, there's many different ways to do bench press. So you have uh, the powerlifting style bench press, or you have the bench press that we're gonna teach here that we tend to use more with the athletic population. So the problem with the powerlifting bench is as great as it is uh, in order to push a high amount of weight, the problem is it's very restrictive in terms of mobility. So the powerlifting bench, usually you're going to retract your shoulder blades, squeeze them tight together, you're going to use a wide grip, and it's all about finding a path, a bar path that's the shortest distance possible so you can push the highest amount of weight. But with the athletic population, just the same way you would with the squat, the goal of the bench press is to work your extensors through its full, fullest range of motion. And you still want somewhat a little bit of freedom in the scapula because when you're exerting forces in a sporting event, your scapula will, will not be locked behind your back in between a bench. Okay, so you're, you're never going to push like this as a lineman in football. The scapula will, will be allowed to move somewhat. Okay. But that being said, you still need some scapula stability in order for your shoulder to be stable and safe and tight in the glenohumeral joint. So um, anyway, so Alex will demonstrate the bench, then we'll discuss further. So first of all, so she lies down on the bench. Her feet should be, the middle of her fit, foot should be in line with her knee, okay, like a, a foot base that's a little bit wider than shoulders to be stable. Now, she's going to rest on her back. She's not necessarily locking the scapula, okay? She just lies down on her back with a very neutral, natural spine and shoulder uh, position. Now, she unracks using a full grip, a little bit wider than shoulder. Now, the goal is as she's lowering down, Okay, the safest position for the barbell is the arm, the humerus at 45 degrees to the torso. Okay, now you see as she's lowering, the, her grip allows the elbow to be right under her hand. Okay, her, her elbow is not outside of her hand, it's not inside, it's right in line. This way, you'll be able to exert more forces as all the forces are directly under your support on the barbell. Okay, now as she's pushing, the end movement, she's right above her shoulders, okay? So now as she's lowering back down, the barbell goes be below her pec, she's in line with her elbows, then she goes right above her chest, or her shoulders. Now the important thing is as she's pressing, you can rack a little bit, as she's pressing, she is activating her lats. It's as if she's, it's as if she's pressing with her pec and lats in a way, okay? Because that activation of the lat, kind of like uh, as if you were flaring your lats to do a back spread, would really help stabilizing that shoulder joint. But that being said, you don't want to protract at the end of the movement, okay? You're still stable, but you're activating your lat in order to really push and create stability on your press, okay? So just do a couple more reps. So tight grip. Okay, the firmer the grip on the barbell, the more motor units involved in the press. Okay, good. Bar path. Let's see, as she's pressing, there's some good activation in the lats right there. Okay, the other important part, racket. The other very important part is the ribs. A lot of people, when they're pressing, they're gonna flare out the ribs, and this area will be super soft, okay? If that happens, there's no stability. If there's no stability here, okay, like the forces will dissipate, and your body will not be able to stabilize the shoulder joint properly to exert full forces. So you, you make sure you brace at the abdominal wall, you keep the ribs down, so all this portion is super stable. The lats are activated, helps with stabilization of the glenohumeral joint. Firm grip, again, so there's no inner energy leak, okay, point of centration of the shoulder joint. And then you do your press. Okay, just a couple more reps. Sit 
tight, pressing, okay, rack it. So again, the, the bench press that we use, it's more a, it's not the best bench press to use or to push the highest amount of weights in the world, but it's a, it's a great bench press in order to create proper form, range of motion through the shoulder joint, through the elbow joint that will transfer better to most sporting event, okay? So bench press, primate.